Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will demonstrate how to display different tags based on the different values of a tag. Tag lists are very useful when different state of the process or machine like stop, starting, running, trip, etc. are required to display. Here, I have already created a project in WinCC Runtime Advance in TI Portal version 15. I have also created some integer tags like uh, tag underscore i1, tag underscore i2, etc. Those I will use in this video. Open text and graphic list from the project tree. I have already created a video how to make animation using graphic list. Link for that video is given in the description. Now let us create a text list here. Create a text list and give any suitable name. Now in selection we have three different options like bit, bit number and value or range. When you want to display two different tags based on a boolean tag, bit option can be used. When you want to display different tags based on different bit value of a byte, word or double word, use bit number option. And when you want to display different text based on values like 1, 2, 3 or range like 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, then use value or range option. Here I have used third option to display different state of a machine. Suppose PLC logic is giving value 0 when the machine is in stop condition. 1 when it is starting, 2 when it is running, 3 when it is uh, unloading like machine or compressor is unloading and giving 4 when it is stripped. So I will configure a text list accordingly. Taking an IO fill to write a value. And based on this tag, we will display text list that will represent stat of the machine. Here we don't want to input from text box, so we just want to display step. So we will select mod is equal to output and assign the tag tag underscore i1. Now let us check this in simulation. So, as per the value we enter, it displays the different text. If we enter some values that we have not entered in the text list, then it will display blank or default selected values. Now let us go one more step ahead of this by assigning some colors in appearance property. So now it will display background color as well as different text. This might be useful in your project to display different color along with text list.
So now it will display background color as well as different text. This might be useful in your project to display different color along with text list. Now let us try to give command from the text list. Say we have different machine commands like stop, start or unload. Now in this symbolic IO field, we will use tag underscore I2. And mod will be input output. And display tag tag underscore i2 in IO field. Now let us test this in simulation. So as we select different modes, we will get different value in tag underscore i2. We can use this different value in PLC and use some comparison block and do some logic operation inside the PLC. So friends, I hope this video was helpful to you to understand how text list can be used in your project. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.